Elaine has spent hours of her spare time each week for 10 years working with Tradecraft. She does it because she believes she's helping people in places like Bangladesh trade their way out of poverty. Now she's going to find out if it's working. Tradecraft have been buying handicrafts from this village for nearly 30 years. Elaine is meeting Nargis. Her mother was one of the first to sell handmade jute products. So you teach in the school? Yes. Yeah. Do you teach young children or older children? Yes. Okay. Six, five years. Nargis was able to go to school with the money her mother made selling handicrafts. Now she's a teacher herself. Before all this started, the women just sat at home doing nothing. They weren't able to get out and work and earn money. But now we're part of the group. We can earn money, we can pay our way, perhaps buy a cow, and send our children to school. We're developing ourselves. Now, do you remember Elaine's hammock? Well, here it is, almost finished. Uh, how many children do you have? Ah, two. 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 Joel. Nom, Joel. Nom, Hannah. Hannah. Hannah and Joel. And it's definitely having a very positive impact here because you can see the ladies are all working together in a nice way and they seem to be enjoying the work. And it's something that they obviously do as part of their culture, so they're very good at it as well. When I try, I'm going to be totally rubbish. <laughs> so how does this fair trade work? Well, women in villages like this can spend as much time as they need on the work. They can fit it in around childcare and work in the fields. And in a society where women can sometimes not have much of a voice, working with Tradecraft and their partners here, Jutworks, can transform their lives. When Jutworks started working in this village, the people were poverty striking. They couldn't afford one meal a day. Now, after working for 27 years, you can look at their houses. The houses are changed now. They have corrugated sheet houses. They have proper sanitation. And they are sending their children to the school. They can afford three meals a day. Okay, I'll have a try. How hard can this be? I've got the hang of this. <laughs> they can raise their voice in the family. So in this decision making, they can take part with their husbands and they can earn. This is empowerment. I think I'm going about half the speed. That's the only problem. And is Elaine's work up to scratch? Here's Tradecraft's quality manager, John Henton. From about, you can tell where I started. I, I about think there. about here, because you can see yeah. a nice thick plait there, and then it's kind of tapering off a little bit. Oh dear. I think you're losing concentration around there. <laughs> Where if we look at the that thickness kind of there, I think I'm going to have they to might reject have to... that. Oh dear. Oh well, more from John mm -hmm. in tomorrow night's Look North report when we ask, with fair trade products in every supermarket now, what's the future for Tradecraft? Yeah,